guys welcome to the second tutorial from the series about how to draw girls and this one today will be about drawing hair and this is part of my collaboration with xp pen and if you haven't watched the previous video about how to draw faces uh, heads of the girls then definitely check it out i will link it somewhere on the screen right now and for today drawing of the hair I thought I would like to show you um, what the book says. We um, talked about drawing heads last time. Now we're going to focus about drawing hair. So what I say about drawing hair is that hair is going from uh, the center of the head. So usually a line or one dot is the center of the hair and then it goes in different directions here, 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 and it's falling down. But something that is different in my approach is that I tend to make bigger volume. So if you just let me take a look, take my pencil right now, and I'll show you. So if you look at this, this is very thin hair. It's very close to the head and I tend to draw hair with much bigger volume. So my hair would be something like this. So the, the, this part here would be bigger from the head itself. That's, my, that's the difference between this process and my process. And uh, basically this is just front, back and side view. And here are some tips about um, ends. So, I don't usually draw this line here. I'm doing more like strands at the ends. And this is another example where the hair is not equal, but in layers. Okay, let's draw long hair first. So what I do is I find um, forehead line and I start from there. And then uh, hair usually goes in two directions. So I find the middle part, which can be on the middle or somewhere to the left or to the right. And then uh, you add volume. So basically hair doesn't uh, go flat. It goes up in uh, both directions. And then, uh, it, and then it goes down. So it goes up and then it goes down and it has Cur it has curls or it's flat, um, that depends on the style of the hair. I'm drawing slightly curled hair right now, as you can see. And um, what's important is to keep uh, mind of the volume of the hair so, so it doesn't look fl too flat. usually one side of the hair is bigger than the other so as you can see I'm drawing the left side a little bit bigger and a little bit uh, wider and it just adds some interest and in the end I like to add some flyaway strands because it adds to the liveliness of the hair but not too much uh, so it doesn't look too messy I will now just quickly show you how to draw um, straight hair. Uh, the principle is the same as curly, um, so I will just let you watch it and see you for the next uh, hair length. So the middle length hair follows basically the same rules. We have 
um, a, a line where everything connects and from there uh, hair goes in two directions. Again, I paid attention to the width of the hair, so um, maintaining the proportions uh, like in the long, long um, hair length. So one side of the hair should be uh, bigger and wider than the other. And basically that's it. It's the same thing, only shorter. Now with the bun, I, I usually start with the um, overall shape of the hair. So the shape of the bun and the shape of the hair, they are like um, two circles. And um, I like to keep um, bun my buns loose. So if you don't want a um, very tightened hair bun, then you can draw this um, looser lines that go beyond the hair, um, the hair shape actually. And um, usually the hairline uh, on the forehead is not a very uh, sharp. It's more like a set of um, smaller brush strokes, which are not always um, fully connected. And I like that because it just looks uh, a bit more realistic. And for the bun itself, it's usually some kind of irregular, irregular shape, circle, oval, or a combination of both and um, a couple of loose strands on the side just to make it more um, live and that's basically it that's how i draw hair and now uh, i will let you uh, watch me draw a hair on the girl that we drew last time in the face tutorial and you'll see me applying those rules and also um, drawing the side view hair This is 
pretty much it it's almost the end of this tutorial uh, thank you so much for watching thank you XPPen for this collaboration and if you liked it and enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next one it will be a coloring tutorial thank you again and bye